Hi, good morning. I hope you all had a good evening last night and are going to have a great day today. I will miss you guys, but I will see you tomorrow. Today, one of the things you're going to be working on is writing your letter to the teacher. Now, back here on the Promethean board, I have created a slide to help you out. And if you'll notice, you want to make sure that you include the date, you include your greeting, that you indent before you start the letter, that you also include your salutation or your closing at the end. And I've added our comma girl for those special comma moments that are needed in your letter. Because I want you to do really well. So you'll get a closer look at the slide in just a moment. Here is some information I want to discuss for just a second with you. After you indent, of course it tells you begin your letter here. Be sure to indent. Tell me the theme or the main idea of your book. Now instead of writing a summary this time, you are going to write what you believe is the main idea or what you believe is the theme. Main idea is for nonfiction, theme is for fiction. Now, I've also included a poster for you. So let's move over here. This poster is letter to the teacher sentence starters. And if you look, I have two sentence starters ready for you. Theme, the author believes that that's how your sentence should begin. If you're writing a main idea, your sentence will begin, the author taught me. Now, we've talked a lot about theme and main idea. Both are started with topics. So you have to think about what was, what was my author trying to tell me in my book? What topics were covered? Were they topics of family or of friendship? Were you reading a nonfiction book where you learned something specific about a person or about how to do something? So think about all the topics that your author talked about first and then decide what your author believes about those topics or what your author taught you about those topics. Remember, your watermelon is your main idea, your big controlling idea. So if it's a nonfiction book, remember that main idea is what the whole book is mainly about. All right, so after you do that, you're going to again choose two post-it notes to write about. Now, many of you forgot about that last one. So this time on that same sentence starter poster that I showed you a few minutes ago are some ideas on how to start sentences about the post-it notes that you've added. Now, you may be thinking, Stuggins, I forgot to add post-it notes in this book. Well, you're going to have to go back and reread some sections. Find your favorite parts. Find the parts where you learned something really interesting. A part maybe that you were confused. So you're going to have to go back and find those areas that you can talk more about with me. Once you finish your letter, don't forget your salutation at the end. So looking at our computer screen, that's where the green arrow is pointing. Don't forget, and you can end it with your student, you can end it with sincerely, any of those things is fine. You're going to do great. Remember to write your letter inside your Readers and Writers Notebook. It's your fancy one. And remember, it's where the emoji tape is. You can turn it to the back and start on your next clean page. This one is already written on, so I would turn to my next clean page here and start right there. If you complete your letter, please just turn it into your crate for now. I'll get them from you on Wednesday. After you've completed your letter, you have your Haberdasher Harry to work on today. Remember yesterday we went through the story and we mainly talked about the idiom in the story about Haberdasher Harry wearing many hats. Now yes, he did create a lot of hats, he sold a lot of hats, but that idiom is not about a hat that he wore on his head. It's about all the jobs that he had. So when you say, I wear many hats, it means you have lots of responsibility. Today you're going to go and answer the last four questions. Now you have already answered them once, but you have your little piece of paper that tells you if you answered them correctly or not. Now is your chance to change those answers to what you think will be the correct answer. 
and then you must justify your answer. So each of you should write a sentence. If you choose a specific letter, say it's J, you say, I chose J because, and you have to go back into the story and figure out why J is the correct answer and tell me why in a short sentence, just like you did last week with partners and post-it notes. You'll also be going to the library today, so be thinking about what genre you need to check out. I have your 40 book challenge cards and they are on my teacher table. The substitute can easily give those to you so you can check the genre that you need. Well, I hope you have a great day today. I plan to hear great things when I return. Please mind your manners, be on your best behavior, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.